A major shakeup in the race for Minnesota governor just a few hours ago, Attorney General Lori Swanson put her name in the ring at the same time adding a well known running mate. All of this coming on the heels of the party endorsing conventions. Our Jeremiah Jacobson joining us now from the newsroom with the biggest developments. Hi, Jeremiah. Hi there, Rena. Yeah, you know, both parties knew their endorsed candidates for governor would face challenges in the August primary, but Lori Swanson's late entry here adds a new wrinkle in a now crowded battle for the DFL. I'm going to make one pledge, and that's a pledge to the people of Minnesota to always put their interests first and to always represent the people of Minnesota in the best way I humanly know possible. After withdrawing from the endorsement for re-election as attorney general over the weekend, speculation began swirling that Lori Swanson was aiming for a bigger job. She made her bid for governor official Monday afternoon, bringing aboard retiring Congressman Rick Nolan as her running mate. To be able to uh, serve and, and uh, collaborate in, in a Swanson administration is it just a... Uh, request uh, too, too compelling uh, to decline. Swanson's entry in the race sets up a battle between three big players in state DFL politics. Former House Majority Leader Aaron Murphy, who won the party endorsement. It is time for us to stand up together. And Congressman Tim Walls, who officially filed his primary paperwork Monday. There is one ticket on all sides of this aisle that has the potential to unite this state around common progressive values. We left this convention as Republicans more united and more enthused than I have ever seen at a convention. On the Republican side, Jeff Johnson stood with fellow Republican endorsed candidates preparing for his second run at the governor's office. But before he can unify the GOP, he'll need to face former Governor Tim Pawlenty, who launched a statewide campaign tour Monday after skipping the convention. We're going to be able to offer ourselves to a broader group of voters in a way that I think will not just hopefully unite the Republican Party, but draw in and attract independents and maybe even some, some Democrats. Now, the uh, Democrats did lose a potential fourth primary candidate when state auditor Rebecca Otto officially suspended her campaign today. Minnesota's primary election this year is August 14th. Rena. Definitely going to be interesting. Thank you, JJ.